So I gotta remember that and the other one and then go from there. But It's gonna sound different though because I'm not recording. Because I'm not recording. I can't record this whole thing. I mean, unless I do it the other way. Now I'm facing the ramifications of my keyboard getting messed up. Now! Unless I'm just going to keep all of it there and do it that way, it's, it's other than that, it's no way for me to do it. There's no real way for me to do it at that point. Which, I mean, if, yeah, I guess if that's what it takes, then that's what it takes. Too slow. It's too slow. Change it. The only other way I could think of doing it potentially is if I break each one. So if I just have a kick, snare, clap. Have your hi hat and then have all of them basically go into the same one bust phase track. That's the only other way I could think of doing it. Yeah, attempt to even attempt to keep the same. Anyway, I guess I could. I guess I could do it that way and give myself the the EQ version of these and call it a day. much reverb I'll put the yeah we'll put this one we'll put the room reverb on there and keep it at that yep all right cut the cut that down so quickly this goes you'll hear it because at the end of the day um how I choose to edit this thing is how it's gonna be edited and that's how you gonna hear it and that's how you gonna see it and that's what it gonna be let me do something so. by the way I am remaking 
a beat on my key from my keyboard, my PSR 450 that I've probably shown in a prior video that I cannot access on the disc anymore. It, it is basically telling me there's an error to it that will make it inaccessible. So, by the way, today is the start of the NCAA tournament, which is always craziness to me. Um, I got Michigan State, North Carolina, and uh, San Diego State in the tournament. I'm not stating who I think is going to win. Cause you don't care! And you probably going to laugh at me like, oh, yeah, you really got... Nah. Nah. I got a men's and a women's bracket. I got a couple of them, so... I made this beat um, originally, I want to say 2010. Yeah, it was 2010. I made this beat 2010, and um, for me, it's just, it's, it's a, I mean, of course, I think all my beats are pretty crazy, but this one, this one, this is when I knew for me at that particular point, I was starting to hit a different level because, um, it's not so much the beat as it is the um, the melodies and everything that's running with it at the same time. That's when I know I was like, "Oh, okay, this is this is this is different." There we go. So now, so if you start it from the very beginning, what's that? Two, three, four, five. So five needs to be the same way. Let's see if I can get this. Make sure this is right. Yep. Cool. All right. So now storage got full. So I need that too. Forgot about that. I need that too. So let's go get that. Yep. I forgot it's about high clap. So like I said, we are re we are this is going into the PSR 450 revisits. It's a very near and dear um it's a very near and dear creation to me because, like I said, when I made it, um, at the time, this is what had me feeling and believing that I'm starting to hit a different level in production. Not specifically just because, like, the, like the beat itself is very simple, but the fact that uh, melodically, musically, like, I hadn't put anything together like this um at all so for me it was like oh word oh wow okay cool so yeah um we'll put this at three so yeah so for me this was like okay um it was just different of course it had it has very much a um has very much a I mean there's a bit of an old school feel to it um let's do six there's very much an old school feel to it but um it 
at the end of the day, it's just like I said, it, it's, I just I just felt good about making it and how it sounded. And of course, I eventually, the crazy thing is, uh, when I made it originally, yeah, that works. When I made it originally, um, obviously there was no, there was no, well not obviously, but there was no beat to it. So it was just me and the, uh, the melody and then the bass line and then the added parts. They added one part. So it was a, it was a concept, but it was a concept that I knew this is definitely going to be a song. And it's just, how do you make it the song that you wanted to be where you wanted to be? And that's, that was the part for me. It was like, okay, now, now you got to get to that. Like, I don't know why I didn't translate the first time, but it does now. And that's all that matters. All right. So we're going to try to make this brief and quick without effing up the quality of the situation. So, I'll go hi-hat next. So, yeah, that's simple. That simple. Okay. Well, that's quick. And then, like I said, I guess what we'll do is just funnel all this into a very same, similar um, funnel all this into one same, similar um, fuck it, halfway think um, bus track with the phase on it and go from there. hard part two is so All right, well, there you go. So that is the meat and potatoes of it for now. And now we go to the next part. of 
binding. Once we find We found it. So now when you add that to it, and then you gotta turn this down some obviously. I have enough time, but I don't have enough battery. Oh, the battery is annoying the piss out of me, man. All right, let's see how much of this we can get before the battery dies. I knew I should have turned it off earlier. That's all right. We'll get it figured out. So this is the main melody to go with it. Thank you. 
to do that. Wait. that recorded real quick. up a little bit It's a little high, that's okay. There it is. And there's one more part to it, just one more part to it after that. That's going to make it really, really go. So, there you go. See if I can get this last part in here before the battery dies. Try to make this quick because I finally found it. So this is the part that we're going to add to this as well. So I'm going to play it for the sake of the video. And but you'll know what it is in a minute. 